The Nobel Prize is the most coveted prize in science. And every year at the end of September, beginning of October, there's always great anticipation in the scientific community about who the winners are going to be. Well, today, the Nobel Prize for Medicine and Physiology was announced, and it is going to be shared uh, by Dr. David Julian of the University of California, San Francisco, and Dr. Artem Padaputian, who is at the Scripps Research Institute, also in California. And they are being awarded for their research into how the body senses heat and touch. I don't know a lot about Dr. Pataputian's work. I will eventually read all about it, of course. But I am quite familiar with the work of David Julian because I have had a long interest in the science of hot peppers. And his work was intimately involved with that, especially a compound called capsaicin, which is the active ingredient in uh, hot peppers. And uh, I originally got interested in that uh, because of the fascinating chemistry, and my interest was triggered by having been in New Orleans, going into one of the shops where they sell all kinds of hot sauces, and trying one. And the one that I tried was called Meet Your Maker. And uh, the fact that it was in a box in the shape of a coffin should have been a giveaway. This was something unbelievable the burning sensation it caused in the mouth. So anyway, I wondered about, you know, just what goes on in the body. So I looked into the research back then of Dr. Uh, Julian's, who had discovered a particular receptor, a so-called ion channel protein on the surface of nerve cells with which capsaicin interacted and caused the release of a substance called substance P that got to the brain and there it delivered the message of feeling pain. So I started to, you know, follow some of the scientific literature about capsaicin. I heard about something called Hunan Hand. Uh, a man who had been cutting hot peppers all of a sudden got excruciating pain in his arms. Well, it turned out that he had been sanding some furniture before. He had some microscopic cuts on his hand, and some of the capsaicin was absorbed into his bloodstream. Then there was a story of, of, uh, of the lady who got some uh, capsaicin into her eye when she was putting in her contact lens. That was, of course, terrible. And uh, a man who went to the bathroom to pee after cutting hot peppers. And let me tell you, that was a very memorable experience for him. He was not likely to uh, ever uh, repeat that. So anyway, uh, uh, Dr. Julian's work about just how substance P is released turned out to be very important because it, uh, he also discovered that when you flood these receptors with a high dose of, of capsaicin, then it actually ends up depleting the nerve cell of substance P so it can alleviate pain. That's why shingles, which is a terrible affliction, can be uh, alleviated, the pain can be alleviated with a cream, the active ingredient of which is, is capsaicin. So certainly, uh, Dr. Julian's work is going to give us a lot of insight into what happens in the body with pain, about the sensation, and what can be done uh, about it. Uh, but let me uh, leave you with uh, one final idea here, is if you ever contemplate trying Meet Your Maker, although that would be against my advice, you better make sure that you have a lot of milk ready. You won't be able to rinse it out with water. Capsaicin is not soluble in water, but milk is the answer because it will dissolve to some extent the capsaicin, at least the fat in the milk will. So in any case, that's the story for the Nobel Prize in uh, Medicine and, and Physiology. And it's interesting how a study of something that seems to be as unimportant as why we get a fiery mouth with capsaicin from hot peppers can eventually lead to the Nobel Prize. And that for us is our cup of joe for today.